Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am here today to do a Whole Foods grocery haul. You know, I was so good not to even snack or eat on anything. I guess I could have, but I'm just trying to, you know, be legit. So I'm gonna get started. It's pretty fun. I'm gonna actually get started with the boring stuff first. And um, I picked up some water. <laughs> Because you got to keep hydrated, right? Let's get going on what's really good in this bag right here. All my snacks. I love to snack. Anyone that knows me know that I love healthy snacks. So that's what we about to get into. Siete chips. Siete chips are, um, if you follow me on my Instagram, you know, Instagram is the same, House of Ham, by the way. But if you follow me on my Instagram, you know that these are my favorite chips. I have spoke about these on my Instagram. Boom, you need to get you some. Yes, they are grain-free tortilla chips. Um, they're made of cassava, cassava flour. <laughs> Say that five times backwards. Cassava. Our avocado oil, coconut flour, ground chia seed, chili powder, nutritional yeast, coconut milk powder, beet powder, jalapeno, habanero powder. Anyway, if you like flaming Hot Cheetos, you will love these. They are so good. I picked up two bags. So I got two bags of that. And I was eating the mess out of these hip peas. They have the vegan white cheddar. Yes, they do. I believe that they have, um, I think there's nutritional yeast in here. Yes, there is rosemary extract. Okay. But these are amazing organic hip peas. They have a sriracha flavor. That's what I was thinking. I know they have a hot Cheeto one, but I don't really care for that. This one is my favorite, and I like to mix the both together. I'm talking about something real good. And now I have some jalapeno, um, Yes, jalapeno crackers. Why can't I think? From Simple Mills Sprouted Seed Crackers. Yes, they are. They're delicious. I like the Mary's crackers as well. Um, I picked up the herb one. Um, they have soy in it. I don't really eat soy. I don't really deal with soy. It makes my stomach upset, so I don't do it. I mean, obviously, I was fine. You know, I haven't had soy in a while, but I prefer not to have it. So, but they have a jalapeno flavor in those too. So I like these better. These are good. These are soy free, grain free, paleo friendly, dairy free, vegan. I got, you know what? I'm going to show you what I eat with those. Yes, I am. Okay. So I picked up these. When did I pick these up? I picked these up a few days ago over the weekend and these Miyoko's, um, the sh what is this? The sun-dried tomato garlic and the garlic. They are both so good. They are amazing. I OD'd on the sun-dried tomato garlic. Oh, so delicious. I've made a grilled cheese with this, with both of these. It's amazing. If you are vegan or you're looking for a cheese alternative, right here. It's your winner right here. Miyoko's has got it down pat. She also has butter as well. And she has a couple other products too. But if you look at her website, it's good. Just go try it. Go pick it up. Buy it. Get you some crackers with them. You want, oh, it's the best snack when you're watching your TV shows. I love snacks and TV. Okay. Who doesn't? Okay. So I picked up some sweet potatoes. <laughs> And I also have some purple sweet potatoes, Japanese potatoes in here as well. And I got bananas, you know, just all the fun stuff. So what I'm going to do, and I got this almond butter right here. I always get the fresh grinded almond butter that you pick up at Whole Foods. They have a machine that's normally by like all of the nuts. It's like the uh, nuts by the pound, you know, it's over there by that. So I am gonna boil these sweet potatoes and I'm gonna mash up some banana and put some cinnamon in there. Put some like Ceylon cinnamon I like to use as a good snack and then like mix it all together. I may add just a little maple syrup and then I'm gonna top it off with this almond butter right here. Don't that sound so good? Ah, uh, I saw it somewhere online 
And I was like, I gotta have it. I am so curious, I wanna see how it tastes. So, and then I'm probably gonna top it because I love a crunch, because it's gonna obviously be creamy. I love a crunch, so I'm gonna top it with some like uh, toasted pecans from Trader Joe's. You know, they have those candy pecans or walnuts, so I love the candy pecans, those are my jam. I try not to OD on those either. I can, it's easy to do that, yes it is. Anyway. I'm gonna top that with it and I'm gonna have me a nice sweet treat. I know it's gonna be, I know it's gonna be delicious. So that's what we doing. I love kombucha. So ginger ale is my favorite. The tantric turmeric is also really good. That's like a second favorite, but the ginger ale is my number one go-to kombucha. Yeah, kombucha. boo. Last but not least, I have picked up some baked beans. I know this is so random. I barely eat baked beans, but I was on the phone with my sister the other night, and she, I think she had made some for my, for my niece. And uh, I was like, oh, I want some baked beans now. So I picked up some baked beans. I probably cooked that, just eat it, you know, whatever. Snack, I'm a snacker. I'll probably just eat it for breakfast or something like that. Um, but the bush, cause she loves bush too. The Bush brand, I like the Bush brand too. Of course, the vegetarian one is my jam. Jigga, ja, right there, yeah. So, that's it. Told you it was a short, quick haul. Whole Foods is what's up. I love Trader Joe's. I love all grocery stores. Anyone that knows me knows that I go to the grocery store like every day, okay? Or every other day. I find a reason to go to the grocery store. So, hopefully... You found a reason by looking at some of these items that I picked up to make you go to the grocery store right now. All right, thanks for watching. You click that thumbs up button, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.